Hey there guys, this is Flamzeron, aka YouTube's Tosuke. I'm finally done with the anime that I've watched video series, and I'm glad too. I understand that some of these are pro some of them were probably not that good, but you know, you gotta understand, like some of these were I was going truly based off of like my poor childhood memory, which I don't even remember that much about the shows. The only ones that were really that good are the like the ones that I actually cared about, like Fate Stay Night, Dragon Ball Z, Yeehawk Show, Berserk, whatnot. Though I think Berserk was probably a little bit rough too. But you know, I'm really glad this an this series is done because I kind of pr kind of promised myself that I wouldn't watch any anime unless I was watching something I had seen before, which is kind of funny. So I kind of been like not watching any of the anime. I did that because, you know, I, di I didn't want to feel like I had to talk about any anime that I had been watching that wasn't on the list, and I want to sort of keep everything sort of at an equal level, like, I either knew a lot about it or I didn't because I didn't remember it. You know, that kind of stuff. Though I did leave some anime out, like, I didn't talk about Scribe because I wanted to finish that one before I said anything about it, and I have it on DVD now, but, you know. I also didn't talk about Star Ocean EX because... In my personal opinion, the English dub is just so bad. Casting-wise, not really, and acting-wise, not really. It's just that they pronounce the names so weird. Instead of Claude, they say Claude. I'm thinking, you know, I don't care if it's a Canadian cast. It's Claude. In the Japanese versions, they say Crod. I mean, it, that should be an indication that it's supposed to be Claude, of all things. And I also didn't talk about the Tales of Symphonia, you know, anime, because I haven't seen it and I don't really plan to. Not unless it comes out in English. But, you know. I don't really know what else I can say about this thing. I mean, I'm I'm glad I got it done, and, you know. It was nice to talk about, you know, stuff. It kind of took a while for me to, you know, plan the whole thing. I did, it be I did this video series because I didn't want to have to, like, do a separate video on, like, Every on like each anime that I kept wa that I would watch, you know. Now I feel like I'm kind of dried out as terms in terms of anime. Like I really only have like one more anime video I think, and after that I'll be kind of done with anime videos for a while. In terms of like, well I might do like some of my thoughts on animes, but you know. In terms of what anime I've been watching, well, to start off with, uh, Dragon Ball Kai is over. Like they canceled it after they killed off. Cell, and you can tell too. It kind of sucked, you know, because I was looking forward to being able to watch the entire Dragon Ball Z anime, you know, in Japanese with subtitles on the internet. But you know, and it kind of sucked too because now I can't tell people to go watch Kai as opposed to watch Dragon Ball Z since you know it's the main story. Now, if you want like a true, you know, sort of, uh. Uh, like a true fillerless thing, go read the manga, and then after that, you know, make your own DVD of how the anime is, and you know, just cut out all the filler. But you know, and you know, the English dub was, you know, a lot better than it what it previously was. Like I've mentioned before, I didn't dislike the English dub of Dragon Ball Z. And I don't even care that they changed the script that much, you know. I mean, with every anime, that's sort of a given, because words... Because, like, you know, the, a translated version of a, of a Japanese script is not going to flow well in English, no matter how well it's written. Like, you, ha you, you have to take some liberties in order to sort of make everything work together, and, you know... Um... But, yeah, Dragon Ball Kai is cancelled. I don't know what f how Funimation's gonna do this, and of course there's a whole music problem going on. I know Kenji Yamamoto's like not even, you know, associated with Dragon Ball anymore. They use the old the old music, which in my opinion isn't as good. And I feel like it's not even a different thing anymore. But you know, they're doing stuff. Um, kind of lost my train of thought. I'm talking about Dragon Ball Kai. Oh yeah, uh. In terms of what Funimation will probably do, what I hope they do is, I hope they either go back and redub all of Dragon Ball Z with the new cast and a redone script, or if they somehow convince Toei to, 
do more episodes just for the sake of finishing the whole thing and, you know, it being more of a planned anime series as opposed to an ongoing one like Bleach or Naruto and Funimation can fund it, fund it or whatever. Of course, Funimation's now its own company, so... Navarre now just distributes their stuff. I think Pioneer used to, but, you know, anyway. Yeah. Dragon Ball. Kai. Hopefully they'll do a second season, which I think they might in the future. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe after Dragon Ball Kai finishes its first airing on Fuji TV 2. And yes, there's a Fuji TV 2. Kind of like how we have MTV 2, VH1. No, I don't think we have VH1 too. Never mind. I've also... I also plan to go back to Rosario Vampire, specifically Kapu 2, or Chapter 2, as I like to call it. Because I stopped watching like after I finished the first season, and I need to go back and finish the second one. I do plan on buying it on DVD. I do plan on watching it in Japanese and with subtitles, and I'm going to be watching it the same way I've been watching it, then I'll buy the DVD. I also started watching Rio Rainbow Gate while I was soaring, while I was doing this whole thing. It was kind of like at a down period, and I already was, you know, I wasn't going to talk about it anyway. And I watched this one on Crunchyroll because I have the, I'm a premium member, so I get to not have any stupid ads, you know, all that good junk. So I, you know, I get to see episodes early. I don't know how long it is. I think it's going to be a 24 something episode, episode anime. I'm not t- entirely sure. I I enjoy it so far, you know. From what I've I got it, I wanted to watch it because it had Rio in it, which I heard was like a dead or alive character or was in dead or alive. Interesting so far. It's poker and it's about car cars and casinos. So I don't exactly know. It's not. I play it more for the. I watch it more for the atmosphere. It's just kind of interesting and whatnot. Also, been watching Fortune Arterio, which is a visual novel, gone anime, kind of like Fate Stay Night and. Shit. And yes, as you can probably tell, the reason why I got into this was because of the school uniforms. I'm just being a healthy guy, you know? If there are hot schoolgirls in an anime, I have to watch it. As long as they're not being brutally murdered or turned into cats or becoming boys, you know, then it's fine. So far, it's pretty interesting. It's, it has a vampire thing to it, so that's interesting. And, you know... Been watching that, or I'll, I'll keep watching that. It's already over. It's like 12 episodes, I think, or 13, I think. But, you know. I also started watching Go Sick, which I find this thing so interesting. I find it kind of interesting, you know. It's alright. I really like the girl, Victorique, or whatever her name is. They come, they come up with, like, the weirdest names. Why can't her name just be Victoria or Victory or something? Not Victorique. Or not Victorique. Yeah, Victory. I don't know how to fucking pronounce her name. But, uh, one thing that I have to mention is that her voice actress has the same birthday as I do. Like, the exact same. March 27th, 1992. She turned 19 this year. You want to know how I know? Because I turned 19 this year. Yeah. Interesting little thing. But, yeah, Victory is kind of funny because she rolls around whenever she's bored. It's so funny, she, like, she literally just rolls on the floor. I find that so funny. Yeah. Another anime that I kind of got into, because I really love the music, uh, is uh, Kino no Tabi. Or, uh, uh Kino's Journey. It, this is actually very interesting. I feel like this anime is going to leave me a weir- with a weird impression, though. It's really more about, you know, the different characters and different places that Kino sees, and for you guys... Uh, ask me or before you even hint at stuff like that or mention this. Yes, I, I already know about the big thing, how Kino is a girl, you know. It's not even that hard to tell. You know? It, it kind of is if you don't know because Kino kind of does look like a guy, but, you know, I kind of spoiled myself because I saw an action figure that that made her look more like a girl. She had boobies. And shit. But yeah, music's pretty good. All that good shit. I will probably continue to watch it. And, you know. Yeah. That's really all I have to say about this thing. Uh, you know, I, I'm kind of sort of winging this one as opposed to rehearsing some of my other videos. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed my little video thing. And, 
I will see you later. I'm going to have to get back to... Oh, yeah. I did say that I would go back to doing my Let's Play on Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 1, and I will finish that. So, stay tuned for the next part of that, and that'll be the next thing I do for a while. So, yeah. See you later.